So today I'm going to be showing you an easy way that we can scrape thousands of leads for completely free using Inadin. And as you can see from my Google sheet here, we can not only scrape a ton of different leads, but we can also get a load of information about each of these leads, making our outreach just that much more effective. And as you can see from the workflow, this is not going to be complicated at all. So I'm going to start by showing you a quick demo of how this workflow actually works. And then I'm going to jump into showing you how you can download this template for completely free and then setting this up so you can start scraping leads yourself. Now, this automation is super easy to use. All we have to do is just type in a quick prompt explaining the type of leads we want back, hit send, and then they are automatically filled into our Google Sheet. As you can see, we get a ton of leads filled into this Google Sheet completely for us. All I had to do was just send a quick message explaining the type of leads that I actually want and everything was done for us, put nicely into a Google Sheet here. Now really quick before we actually dive into getting that workflow downloaded and set up for yourself, I do just want to quickly mention that I just released a community inside of WAP. So if you're interested in learning how to build AI automations, just like the one I'm showing you today, consider joining this. I have plenty of material out showing you how to go from a beginner to an expert in both AI and AI automation. So if this sounds interesting, check it out. It will be linked in the description below. And without wasting any more time, let's get back into the video. So in order to start setting this up for yourself, you'll need to go down to the link in the description where I've given you access to this template for this workflow. Uh, download that. It will be in the form of a JSON file. Once you've gotten that file, we're going to head over to NADN and either log in or create an account if you already uh, if you don't already have one. Once you've done that, you'll be brought to an overview page inside of your account where we can go up to the top right and select create a new workflow. And once we are in this empty editor here, we are again, again going to go up to the top right, select these three dots, and then select import from file. Just select that JSON file that you just downloaded. So once you've imported that template, it should bring you to a workflow that looks something like this. And from here, I'm just going to walk you through setting this up and kind of explaining what each uh, step inside of this automation is actually doing. So the first thing that we are starting out with on the left side here is a trigger. A trigger just starts the SEO automation. And in this case, we're using a platform called Telegram. Now, Telegram allows us to create bots and then send messages to those bots and then do things like this, where we can create automations based off of those messages that those bots receive. Now to get a Telegram account, you'll need to go over to their website. It's telegram.org. It looks like this. I'll just download the appropriate app for uh, whatever system you are using this on. And the nice thing about this is that we can use it on both uh, you know, your laptop, your PC, as well as your phone. So it does sync back and forth. So once you've logged into your account, we are going to start a new conversation inside of Telegram. We'll do a new secret chat and then start a conversation with what is called a uh, bot father. It is a little weird, but the username is at bot father, capital B, capital F. What you'll want to do is send a message that is forward slash start that might happen automatically. But from there, we get a list of commands and we are going to send another message with forward slash new bot. And then it will walk us through actually giving that bot a name. And then finally, it will give us a link to actually start messaging that bot. And then it will also give us an API access token. So we are quickly going to copy this access token. It is going to be this long string of characters right here. Copy that. And then we are going to go back into NADN. We'll open up this Telegram trigger. And then we'll select the dropdown for a credential to connect with. Uh, once on this dropdown, we're going to add a new credential. Paste in the access token here. And then you just hit Save and that will connect your NADN account to the bot that we just made inside of Telegram. So now you can click on this link and it will take you into a chat message, a chat thread, and you can actually start sending messages to that bot. So next up, we have a basic LLM chain. Now this is essentially just an AI model that we are sending messages to. And if we open up this node here, what this is doing is we are just passing in the search content from Telegram that is represented by this green set of text, which is a variable inside of NADN. And you can see the preview here. So we're just filling in that set of text with whatever message we are receiving through Telegram. 
Uh, in this case, I said I want decision makers for construction companies based out of Europe with around 20 employees. Now that is the user message. And then we also have a system message below here. So we are going to select this drop down or select this little button right here. It just allows us to open up that message in a bigger screen. I kind of show you what I'm doing here. So I'm first giving it a task and what we are going to be doing is we are essentially using a platform called Apollo. This is their website here and they basically just have a giant database of a bunch of leads. Now we are not actually, we are going to be scraping the leads off of their platform using a different website as well. I'll talk more about that later. But what this is doing is we are essentially just turning that prompt or the description of the leads from Telegram into a URL that we can use to scrape in Apollo. Now here what I've done is I provided an example of a URL from Apollo. So if I copy this, I can open this in a new tab and you can see that I'm actually filtering leads using these set of filters. So I have, you know, the number of employees, uh, the keyword for, you know, advertising in this case, uh, the location is in Europe and then management levels of owner, founder, C-suite. So when explaining this, I just said this URL is searching for people that are in advertising. So the keyword advertising based in Europe uh, with this many employees or this many employees. And then um, also looking at people that are in the management position. So owner, founder, and C-suite. And then here I just said, you know, output a working URL based on the input that you receive and we should be able to just copy and paste that url into apollo and it should find those leads so you can see the example here this is the one for construction so it did the uh, the range for the employees the construction keyword uh, the location and then again that management level of job titles so then what we were doing is we were going to send this URL into a web scraper and it is then going to take all of the information about each of these leads and give it back to us so then we can, we can upload it into a Google Sheet. All right, so I realized while actually editing this that when we were connecting our OpenAI account, we actually have to have money in that account. Uh, so you can follow along with that if you'd like and add, I think it's like $5 minimum to open AI, it's not much and it does last a very long time. So uh, you're more than welcome to do that, but I did promise that it would be free. So what we can do instead is we can come under this basic LLM chain. We are going to go over this path here and just click the trash can that just disconnects the AI model from this basic LLM chain here. We're going to add another model and then we can scroll down and go to Google Gemini chat model. Now this allows us to do this for free. And what this looks like is if we just look up Gemini API key like this, uh, mine pops up with Google AI for developers, get a Gemini API key. I'll click on this and then we can go, we'll just go to get a Gemini API key in Google AI studio. It takes us to Google's AI studio here and then we can just select create an API key. We can do a Google Cloud project. So we actually need to make a Google Cloud project very quickly. So to do this, we'll just look up Google Cloud Console. It'll take us to a welcome page here. And what we're going to do from here is we can go up to the top and select this menu and it will give us a list of our projects. We are just going to create a new one. We can give it a name here. And then we can uh, just select create and then give it a second while it's actually creating that project for us. And you can see it's now finished. So then what we're going to do from here is we can just go back over to that page we were on before, the aistudio.google.com. Under the API section, we just select create an API key. And then we'll just select that project that we just made, create API key. And then we'll copy that here. 
and then go back into Iniden, open up the Gemini chat model, select the drop down, create new credential, and then paste in the API key here, hit save, and then it will turn green and just say that we've actually connected our account. Now what we can do from here is we can change the model. So I'll have this set to flash. Uh, we'll do 2.0 flash. And I'll have that set up already. So inside the template, so you can use either model. Uh, just know that you will have to add a little bit of money to OpenAI, but it's still not expensive. But since I promised it would be free, you can just add uh, Gemini here. So uh, yeah, I'll carry on with the rest of the video. Now, before I actually get into that, we first actually need to connect our OpenAI account. So to do this, we are going to open up this chat model right here. And then we are going to select the drop down, and then again, select the new credential, uh, create new credential. And in this case, we need an API key. So to get that, we are just going to look up OpenAI API. Uh, it takes us to their API page. So I'm going to select API platform, and then we're going to log in. Make sure you log into the API platform. It'll take us to a page that should look something like this. Doesn't have to look exact, but we are going to go up to the top and select dashboard, and then go over to the left side and select API keys. So from here, we're going to go up to the top, and you'll need to create a secret key. It'll ask you to give it a name. And then it will actually give you that secret key or the API key. Uh, so you want to write this down, uh, but write it down somewhere safe. Um, so you will have to upload, I guess like five dollars to this account, but it will last you a, a good while. So you don't have to. It's not expensive. You don't have to worry about continuously uploading money to this. But uh, write that key somewhere. Write that key down somewhere safe. And then we're going to copy that secret key and paste it into this API key section inside of an ADEN. And that will connect uh, in it in to your OpenAI account. Click save here. And then you'll be good to go as far as connecting your chat model. So next thing that we are going to look at is the website that we're going to use to scrape the leads off of Apollo. So we are going to be using a platform called Appify. Again, I just looked up Appify. It's this first one here. So once we're on their website here, you'll want to create an account. If you already have one, just go to your console. So either way you'll log in, it brings you to your console here. And then from there, we're going to go to the Appify store. And then we can search for actors. And the one that we are going to be searching for, we'll just search for Apollo Lead Scraper. Now you can see there's a ton of different options here, but the one that we are going to be using is a fire emoji, an Apollo scraper dash scrape up to 50K leads. We'll open up this. So once we're on this page, we are going to be filling in that HTTP request inside of NADEN. So if you head back over to our workflow, you can see we can open up this HTTP request. And in this node, we are or in this step, we are going to be sending a request to Appify, basically just asking Appify to scrape whatever Apollo results we are getting back. And how we can do this is I'll have the JSON body kit uh, put here, and we are just getting that output from the AI step previous to this. And that API or the AI step is going to be giving us the URL for Apollo to actually, you know, scrape those leads uh, from Apollo. So you won't have to edit the JSON body, but what we will have to do is actually insert the URL. And how we can get that is if we go back into the actor page here inside of Apollo or inside of Appify, we are going to go up to API and go to API endpoints. Now here we're going to scroll down until we see run actor synchronously and then also get data set items. So if we just copy this endpoint and why you're gonna have to paste this in here is because we actually have you know the API access token is going to be put at the end of this. So this will include your access token, but there's also nothing else you have to do um, as far as you know connecting uh, this HTTP request. So just paste that into this URL section and then you'll be good to go. So we're gonna click out of the HTTP request and then we can open up the Google Sheets here. Now inside of Google Sheets, we will also need to connect to your account. So again, do the credential to connect with 
select the drop down, and then select create new credential. So from here, all you'll need to do is just go down to the bottom and select sign in with Google. It'll pop up with a little window and just give you a list of your Google accounts, select the one that you want to connect, uh, click continue, and then it will give you a list of permissions that you can allow any den to have access to with your Google Sheets. I just select it all, but you can kind of go through and pick if you want. Uh, and then after that, just select continue again, and it will give you a confirmation screen. Uh, this will turn green up here, and then you'll be good to go. So just click save after that. And then that will connect your Google Sheets account into NADN. And then what you need to do is actually create a Google Sheet inside of your Google Drive. You'll want to select the document that you just made. Uh, mine is called Lead Scraping. You can see that here. So just select it from the drop down and then select the sheet that you were on, probably going to be sheet one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to map each column. And since we're using append or update row, this is basically going to, basically going to check for repeat leads. So if we're getting a lead more than one time, it's going to just update the row instead of creating a, dupl a duplicate at the bottom. And how we are doing that is we are first going to check for the ID of that lead. So if we get multiple leads, they're going to have the same ID. And that's why we're going to check first if they have an ID that already exists. If they do, then we'll just update it. We're not gonna add a duplicate at the bottom. So then that is where you will drag in each of these values. And how you do this is you'll want to execute this workflow manually which we can do by selecting this at the bottom. It'll look like this. And then you can see it is now waiting for a trigger event. I'm going to just send a message here with an example of some leads that I might want to get. And then you can see it sent 100 leads from the HTTP request or from Appify. And then if I open up the Google Sheet here, you can see that we get a list of all of the values for specific leads. Now. What you want to do is just scroll down here and then you can just add a column to send and it will just literally give you a list of all the columns inside of your Google Sheet. So I've added mine already, but what this looks like is you can just add one manually. So I delete country, I can add country, looks like this. And then we just scroll down and find the country, drag that value into that section and it's, it's just that easy. So literally just drag and drop each of these into these different fields. You can edit the uh, column names inside of your Google Sheet based on some of the values that you're getting back here. This gives you a lot of information about each lead. So you can kind of add each of these and then that will just save it in your Google Sheet where if you receive another lead, it's going to fill in each of the values appropriately and then what this looks like is if we just execute this step, it's just going to add all 100 leads into my Google Sheet. But yeah, that is how you scrape leads using Apollo, Appify, and NADN all uh, combined together. Again, this is completely free. Uh, so if you have any questions, drop a comment below. And if you did get anything from this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, that's all I have for you today. Have a good one.